What's happening? It's uh, John from Long Island. It is Wednesday, November 6th, 2024. Um, been a busy, uh, busy couple of months, uh, especially since my last video. I've got a bunch of new stuff uh, that I can't even get to in this one video, um, but I'm going to show you five. I have, um, work's been crazy, life's been crazy. Uh, I've had to take a little step back from playing music for a while. Um, but that's another, another, uh, another story in itself. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's nothing going on with that right now. But I do have five that I have uh, bought in the last couple of weeks, months. I'd like to show them to you. Uh, the first one would be The Doors, Soft Parade. This is Electric Records, 1969. The Doors are a band that um, I became aware of when I was a kid. My father loved The Doors. All I heard was, when I was a kid, The Doors, Led Zeppelin, uh, Neil Young, The Beatles, The Stones, all the classics. Lenny Skinner, you know, uh, but the Doors was, uh, you know, they sounded different than anybody, um, and my father would tell me the story that um, he first heard the Doors when he was in Vietnam. I, 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 I'm bad with the dates because, and the, you know, no one's around anymore to ask. I'm gonna say it was like 1967 to 69, somewhere around there, where he was over in Vietnam, and um, you know, he'd have uh, his friends over here in the states or whatever you know, mailing stuff to them and uh, would mail them this music. Now, I'm assuming they mailed it on reel-to-reel -reel tape. I don't see the mailing record. Maybe they wrote mail records. I don't know. Uh, but uh, first time he heard this stuff was in Vietnam. He said, you know, he'd be there and nothing sounded like the Doors. You know, he heard it and I was like, what the fuck is this? Nobody took those chances, you know, and recorded these songs like this. Um, so it must have been weird. You know, my father was a Bronx Italian guy, a kid, um, First time he's ever on a plane was his fucking plane trip to Vietnam to go fight in a war at 18 years old, which is wild to me. Um, but it is what it is. And so to be exposed to the doors in that way, and then for me to be exposed to the doors when I was a kid, uh, so I kind of keep the uh, tradition going, you know, uh, keep the story alive because it's a crazy story. Um, I love the doors and um, nothing, not, they, nobody has ever tried to do what they did uh, stylistically. So, um, they got that going for them. Um, I love the doors, though. This is a repress. This is not original. Um, I've been trying to get original pressings of stuff because um, you don't know what you're buying these days when something's re-released. Re you don't know if it's pressed from digital sources. And at that point, if it's pre if it's on a record pressed from digital, you might as well just have a fucking CD, honestly. Um, but uh, this, I could I got this on, I got this for a great price, so I, I couldn't really say no. Um, so, yeah. 1969, The Doors. Uh, stand us off here would be Tell All the People. Uh, that's my favorite off this. Touch Me. Um, ba, 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 uh, Wishful Sinful's okay. The Soft Parade, though, is a great, great song. The Doors always had these like epic songs, and The Soft Parade is, is that one. All right, next. We have another band, which I've you know, been a fan of since I was a little kid. This is Judas Priest, the best of Judas Priest. <laughs> Uh, which is a little bit of a misleading title. Uh, this was released on Gull Records in 1978. And this is an original pressing. Uh, what happened with Priest was after they got out of their uh, contract with Gull Records, and I forget who they signed with, maybe Columbia or, or somebody, um, but they got popular. So now Gull Records had their, the rights to their recordings, so they started pressing some stuff and releasing it. So they've made this, The Best of Judas Priest, which is not really the best of. It's four songs from Rock and Rolla, four songs from Sad Wings of Destiny. Uh, rock and roll, I don't love. Uh, Sad Wings of Destiny, I do love. I don't have that. I'm going to be looking for that on, on record. Um, rock and roll, the songs on here. Diamonds and Rust, with the John Baez covers on here. That's a great one. The Rippers on here and Victim of Changes. Those would stand out to me that they do live still. Um, I remember getting this this, this uh, cassette when I was a kid. Like I said, I had been a, a fan of Priest from uh, Defense of the Faith and uh, Screaming for Vengeance. And uh, I was in Caldo with my mom, you know, always my mom would bring me to these stores and uh, I'd go right to the record section. I found this cassette, brought it home, put it on. I hated it because it didn't sound like the 80s priest. The 70s priest is a different animal. And it's, it's something that I'm really appreciating now, the 70s priest. It's more of a riff rock rather than heavy metal. Uh, the beginnings of the heavy metal, but uh, more of a rock and roll gig. Uh, but I really love it. And um, I'm getting into it. I, I, I want to get some of those original priest records uh, like especially Sad Wings of Destiny, but um, a little hard to find it in, in good shape. All right. Next up, I'll give you this one. This is Van Morrison's Moon Dance. 
I don't know what year this came out, uh, <laughs> but uh, I can tell you this. Uh, it was my my father's favorite record from him. Uh, he's played all the time, and, and it, became, it became one of my favorites over the last bunch of years, too. Uh, this has got Stone Me, it's got Crazy Love, Moon Dance, Into the Mystic. That's all you really need at that point. Uh, this is an original, which I found, got on eBay. Uh, it's in great shape, and I got it for a you know, relatively great price. Um, I don't know much of, of Van Morrison's stuff. The first I heard about uh, heard Van Morrison was probably when he did the the, uh, the Wall concert for uh, Roger Waters in 88, I think it was. Uh, that's why I heard of, of Van Morrison, and then... Um, my father, you know, played this CD. And I was like, oh, man, this guy's great. I mean, very mellow music. You know, very cool. Uh, if that's your thing. All right. Next up, I'm going to give you... Hmm, let's see. This one. Okay, this one. Kiss Destroyer, 1976 on Casablanca Records. This is an original. Uh, but it's not original in the, in the respect that the uh, sleeve is gone. So, um... You got that. Uh, but it is an original present, and it's in great shape. Kiss is a band. You either love me or hate them. Uh, I'm in the middle, actually, because uh, my, my first exposure to Kiss was the when they had no makeup on the, the Lick It Up stuff, the uh, Animalize albums in uh, 83 and 84. Uh, and, of course, after that, I went backwards, and I got it alive. And I was like, whoa, shit, you know, this is really cool, you know. And, and I love some of these songs. I mean, I get, why they, I get why they hated, and I get why they loved, you know. Like I said, I'm in the middle. Uh, but I appreciate these songs. Some of these songs are great. Detroit Rock City, King of the Nighttime World, God of Thunder, uh, Shout It Out Loud, Beth, and Do You Love Me. All popular songs and all great ones. Um, again, Kiss Destroyer. Can't go wrong. I, I would like to get the original, you know, the, the first bunch, maybe up to Dynasty, 1979, I think that was. I'd like to get those records. Uh, you can find them, but people are, you know, again, for original pressings, people ask for some money. Uh, here's a record that I haven't played yet. Uh, I've heard it digitally. I've heard it on Spotify and, and such. This is, again, this is uh, one of my, fav my, my new favorites, I should say. This is Tyler Childers' Can I Take My Hounds to Heaven. Uh, this is a three LP set, which is basically, um, he took eight gospel songs, recorded them three times. Uh, once with a, um, like, a bare bones, like acoustics, uh, bluegrass. Uh, once with like string arrangements and horns and shit, and then the last version uh, with remixes of the, of that, uh, I guess digital remixes. Uh, but Tyler Childers is one of my favorites. Uh, like I said, new favorites. Again, uh, standouts on here for me would be Purgatory, which is on his album Purgatory, I believe, and then um, Way of the Triune God on this as well. Again, I haven't listened to it, so I, I haven't I can't give you a complete review on it. But um, you know, I've heard most of it on uh, Spotify, and I love it. So. Um, Anyway, those are the five uh, that I have. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some time in the next couple of weeks before Thanksgiving to uh, make another video with the other the other stuff I have because uh, it's been piling up. Uh, but I have been getting a little bit of time here and there to listen to it. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, not much going on musically for me. Uh, I've had to, decided to take a step back from it for a while um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, but... Uh, so there's no news that way. So uh, just stay tuned. If you check these videos out, you know, I'll update anything that I have going on. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great night.